Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials. I am Koichi and in this video we are going to go over the new Hokura season and also check out the new Hokura interface. So uh, there have been a couple of updates in terms of the user interface especially for um, the Hokura list. So going to the quest log here and going to the ruler list you're going to see that the setup has completely changed so this is actually going to be the new setup for the Hokura so um, in this case there's going to be a lot of new stuff here so one thing is that you're going to see is that it's going to display all the different types of enemies Hokura that they're going to be so in this case there are going to be 12 different types of enemies uh, for this particular season then uh, here with each of them it shows you the name of the Hokura uh, pretty much it goes in order from uh, the highest uh, uh, required level to the lowest which is down here at the bottom uh, but uh, in this case besides that it's going to show you the level then under it's going to show you how many of those you actually have registered in your uh, list so uh pretty much for my golden golem i only have one golden golem uh hokura registered in my list i have five for tentacles uh the new uh level 75 uh hokura ruler i'm going to have uh one for mad smith so that's going to be the latest uh uh local uh local enemy or mo local monster uh, for the uh, shuffle uh, event then also you're going to see for queen slime and for Baramos zombie um, they're going to have um, a little caption or little balloon underneath pretty much what it says is that it's saying that um, there's going to be hokura that is going to run that is running out of time so you need to check it out so for example if i go to the queen slime it's actually going to start off um with the latest one that you've gotten then uh if you go down to the bottom it shows you to the uh latest uh the earliest one that you got so for this one it's going to be four hours left so um Besides that, also, for example, with this particular slime or this particular Hokuna right here, it pretty much shows you that I don't meet the conditions already for that particular uh, Hokura already. So I would need to actually just go in, see what the conditions are and change some things around. So if I go in and check, it's going to say that I need to have a battle master on my party and then I have to have uh, characters of all different classes so um, pretty much just like before just go here to Kirikai and change to a different team so pretty much yes this is going to be uh, the new interface uh, with the Hokura uh, one other thing uh, that you're going to notice is going back here to your preparation and to the exchange right here at the bottom uh, the stone tablets that you use for uh, the special training or the advanced training for your uh, advanced classes uh, you can actually now sell your extra ones so remember this is going to be to sell and not to buy um, I actually made this mistake um, earlier uh right when this came out i thought this was i could actually buy and i ended up selling uh actually some really good ones so um actually i believe i sold this one right here um all the ones that i had left so then um yeah you just need to be careful so pretty much if going typing this button it shows you how many that you actually have so um yeah it's going to be um, very, um, this is good if you have a lot of the, especially the lower level ones here. So here like I have 1,867, 800. So um, you pretty much, if you already have uh, the stone tablets or you already have uh, your advanced training to level 10 then you probably might want to sell but you never know when the next uh, level cap is going to reach 
So speaking of that, uh, with this particular team, I actually have my Monster Masters to level 79, so almost 80. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, I will get them to 85. But going back here, uh, what I want to do is go over the Hokura rulers now. So um, with this video, actually I first want to take a look at... Um, Actually, I'll start with the level 30 Hokura here. So this is going to be the Sunasaurus, um, Sunanosaurus. So this was actually originally featured as an elite enemy back in, uh, maybe not last year, but the year before. Um, pretty much the same event that you have the, uh, Claw of Black Storm. So uh, what I want to do here is just take a look at this particular Hokura. So here, um, pretty much Dorma, Dane, Gira, Hyado, and Jibari is going to be weak to. Recommended for level 30. Um, pretty much the basic skills um, is going to be weak to. And here going to have the standard conditions. So uh, items can't be used beyond their maximum allowable capacity. Do with the world tree and adult leaf of the world tree can only be used uh, once in the battle So with this particular team, this should be no problem, but uh, with that said here we go Okay, so with this battle what I'm just going to do is auto battle I don't really need to go into too much detail about uh, the attacks here But uh, yeah um Pretty much like that, uh, the battle is over. And this is going to be a purple soul, and I got a D. Um, I already have four of the S grades. Um, this is going to be um, good for, I believe, Hado uh, spell damage. Okay, so next what I want to do is actually go for the Chameleon Man. So, um, I remember back when I originally tried out, or when this enemy actually appeared, I actually did have uh, some trouble with it. But uh, the Chameleon Man uh, is going to be weak to Gira, Boggy, Dane, and Jibadia. So, uh, and then pretty much the regular skills are going to, um, be intact there and still have the same standard conditions so rather than have my regular field team what I want to do is I want to change to um, I'll actually change to my boggy team since they are level 83 and can actually uh, gain levels uh, but I don't need to actually go in and change uh, their uh, or replenish their MP I should be able to get through this no problem so with that said, here we go. So here, just going to auto battle, which should be enough. But in, I believe in my original strategy for this particular Hokura, I took out, um, the two shamans first because they can actually cause confusion. Then after that, I took out the chameleon man. Then I believe when I originally did this particular uh, hokara, um, I was using uh, mainly a a mix between Gira and uh, Boggy. And this is also going to be a purple soul. Okay, so now back with uh, my next uh, Hokura. So now this time I'm going to be using a Jibadia based team. Um, this is going to be for the Tentacles Hokura. So uh, with this team, um, you want to actually have a Jabaria based team um, that's actually going to do damage to all the um, enemies here. So going real quick to the Hokura. So uh, Tentacles is going to be the level 75 Hokura. So going to be right here. So with this particular Hokura, uh, let's try this one here. So this is going to be um, a harder one. 
So um, with this particular Hokura, uh, he's going to be weak to Jibaria, Mera, Io, and Dorma. Um, what you want to do here is try to defeat them all at around the same time. Um, if you don't, um, it's going to actually make the battle a little bit harder. So uh, pretty much as long as all three of them are there, they're only going to do two attacks per round. But uh, once you actually kill one of them, the other two will then have three attacks per round and will use more powerful attacks. So one of those can be Tentacle Barrage, which, you act which it actually does uh, seven attacks um, to the characters, which actually can be quite devastating, especially if two of them are going to be doing that at the same time. Not only that, they also get three actions per turn. So um, besides that, they can also use Machiado and other uh, abilities. But I will have those over here on the side. I'm not going to actually show uh, go into detail about them. But um, here going back to uh, this team, you're going to see that with my Battlemaster, I'm going to actually have the uh, Blade of Destruction. That's going to do uh, a lot of damage to all the characters. As well as my uh, Ranger equipped with uh, Conduct as Tomahawk. Again, that's going to be... Jabari base damage, so physical technique damage, so that should actually work well too. Then for my armamentalist, uh, I actually have on the uh, royal family rapier, so that's going to have earth swing, which is going to do uh, Jabari base damage. So I will use force burst along with that in order to increase the damage of that attack and also to get force breaks. So with that said, uh, first what I want to do is heal up, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I'm all healed up, I'm actually ready to go into this Hokura. So going to my Hokura list right here and then going to this tentacle one. So I'm going to actually do uh, this harder one here. So with this one, the conditions are going to be I need to have a battle master in my party. I need to have um, all my characters can't be of the same class, and then uh, I can't use items, but I don't think I will need to use items for this battle. So again, you want to try to defeat uh, the tentacles at, all at the same time. So there are going to be three of them here, so you'll see how the battle goes. So uh, here we go. Okay, so here we go with this battle. So three tentacles here. So what I want to do is actually I want to go for um, my standard... Uh, strategy with my battle master. They do have um, Ice Storm, which is a breath attack, but I'm not actually going to worry too much about it. So I'm actually just going to go right in, and hopefully I can get some Shadow Binds here. Okay, did some okay damage there. No Shadow Binds though. Then here for my Armamentalist, going to use Force Burst. And then I find I actually get attacked a lot. Uh, on my, my armamentalist gets attacked quite a bit. So what I want to do with my uh, sage is actually use Skada on my armamentalist. So you'll see the attacks they have here. So there's a regular attack right there. There's um, Bakura Zuken, so Raging Fist. There goes Ice Storm. You see his next attack. Another regular attack. Another Raging Fist or Bakudatsuken. Then, ooh, okay. So, um, my Battle Master is still alive. So, hopefully, here I can get a Shadow Bind somewhere. Hopefully. Okay, on the middle one, so not bad. So, here, what I want to do is use Stemmy. And, ooh, going to heal up with my Sage. Hopefully that should be enough. And then here, going to attack using Earth Swing with my Armamentalist. And, ooh, okay, so that did around 3,000 damage and got Shadow Binds on, uh, Force Breaks on all of them. So that actually works out quite well. There goes, um, okay, that was, I believe... Uh, not Tentacle Barrage, but, um, a different attack... Um, I'll actually have it over here on the side, but, um, that one does five attacks instead of the seven, but, uh, here now I can actually use, I'll actually go into Battle Demon Release, so hopefully I'll be seeing some pretty good damage here. And, 
Okay, okay, so 8,000 on those two, but I missed on that one on the right. Um, I should still be okay, though. Okay, okay, so that one on the right, actually, I got a crit on that one. So I probably should be okay here. Okay, so that was um, a double tennis ball attack. Regular attack, regular attack, another regular attack. Another um, Raging Fist, and a regular attack there. So let's see what happens now. Okay, ooh, wow. All taken out with that last one right there. So yeah, um, definitely with your um, Battlemaster having the uh, Blade of Destruction on, that actually, you can see right there, does a lot of damage. So um, that actually worked out well, and I, I was able to get everyone down all at the same time. And I get a D soul. So the tentacles is going to be a uh, red soul. Okay, so with that battle, things actually did go well with that Hokura. So you saw uh, how well uh, my battle master actually did in that particular battle. So um, I don't think um, it's actually possible for me to just uh, auto battle that particular battle and just let things play out. Uh, I haven't tried that yet with this particular team, but uh, what I want to do is in another video showcase a different attribute, so most likely it is going to be Dorma. But uh, with that said, I'm going to end this video here on the Hokura, uh, new Hokuras for this particular season. So uh, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.